Mario fans. How are we feeling? Like, seriously, we are eating right now. So many new Mario games, remasters, remakes, DLC, and even theme parks have either come out recently or are on the way. And while I don't really care about Princess Peach Showtime or Mario vs. Donkey Kong, I do care about mainline Mario games. The latest mainline entry in the Mario series was Super Mario Bros. Wonder, which dropped over four months ago. Holy sh**. This game is fantastic, and it's obvious why it was in development for such a long time. So many countless ideas just mesh so flawlessly together in this game, and it is outstanding. But what about the other side of the spectrum? What about 3D Mario? The last full 3D Mario game we got was, a. Uh... Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. This was a fantastic game, don't get me wrong. The controls alone make it one of the best 3D platformers of all time, but that was a little over seven years ago, believe it or not. And for the past couple of years, I've been expecting some news on the next 3D Mario game, but we haven't gotten it yet. So, what happened to 3D Mario? Why haven't we gotten a true successor to Odyssey yet? Alright, so Mario 64, the first 3D Mario game. An absolute classic, as it defined a completely new genre of gaming. Six years later on the Nintendo GameCube, we had Super Mario Sunshine. This one introduced brand new gameplay mechanics with a flood pack, top it off with state-of-the-art visuals for the time, and we got ourselves a pretty good follow-up to Mario 64, even though I didn't really like Sunshine, honestly. Then jump five years to the release of Mario Galaxy, and we basically have what Sunshine did. New mechanics and a new art style. And, uh, yeah, Mario Galaxy is the best game of all time, moving on. Then a few years later, we had Mario Galaxy 2, which, while still being a new game, just kind of expanded on Galaxy framework. This game is amazing, though. Then we have a seven-year gap between Mario Galaxy 2 and Mario Odyssey, if you don't count 3D World and 3D Land as actual 3D Mario games. Okay, so my point is, the largest gap we have ever had in between 3D Mario releases is seven years, so I think it's safe to say that we're due for another 3D Mario game, and I'm 99% sure they have one that's almost ready to go. But why haven't we seen anything yet? So in 2021, this weird little thing happened. They ported Mario 3D World to the the Switch, but they also added a brand new expansion called Bowser's Fury, which in actuality is a completely different game, just with the same controls and gimmicks as 3D World. This was a massive surprise to see, but it was only a couple of hours long. You could finish it in one afternoon, but it felt different from anything we've seen before. What this game did to stand out from Odyssey was that this was one massive open world. There wasn't any kingdom jumping like we saw in Odyssey, just one giant open map, and you can go wherever you wanted at any time. It was very clear that this was sort of a a demo for the next 3D Mario game. Just a little taste of what Nintendo has been cooking up. But three years later, and we still have absolutely nothing. I am by no means complaining about not getting a new 3D Mario game announcement because we have been getting a boatload of new Mario stuff. But I am curious, what have they been hiding from us all this time that they're not showing us? Here's my first theory. They're waiting for the Switch 2 to launch. Mario Odyssey was released in the same year as the Switch, so I believe that they could very well announce this game now, but they want to save it for the Switch 2 launch so they could show the game running on the new console. I think this is actually the same case for Metroid Prime 4 as well, just to throw that out there. We have been hearing several rumors about the Switch 2 being announced as soon as next month, and the actual release date being sometime early next year. I mean, let's be real, the Switch is almost on its last breath. We're at the point where we're getting a bunch of remasters and remakes with little to no new first-party titles. That's why I believe they decided to show off a partner showcase direct instead of a full-length one, because there just isn't much else to show. So yeah, they're probably just saving this game for the next console, and just like the first Switch teaser with Mario Odyssey, maybe this new game will pop up in the background somewhere in the new teaser. Who knows? My second theory is that the game is still going to be on Switch, but either it's going to be a cross-gen release with the new console on the new console's release date, or it's going to be a Switch game for the holiday season, but it will get a Switch 2 version when the console comes out. Think of The Last of Us Part 2 if you know anything about that game. It dropped on PS4 a few months before the launch of the PS5, and then it got a PS5 patch to upgrade the game to 60 FPS when the new console dropped. I can see a similar situation happening with the next 3D Mario game. A Mario launch title for the Switch 2, but also dropping on the same day for the previous gen would be awesome as well. That would have a similar effect to Breath of the Wild being a launch title for the Switch if you ask me. But I can also see them going the other route I mentioned because this next console is supposedly not coming out until early next year. And you know damn well that Nintendo likes to have those holiday game releases. So I can see it dropping around the holiday season for the Switch. And my final theory, this one is kind of unlikely 
quickly, but I wouldn't be surprised. They simply don't have the game ready, and they won't have it ready for another couple of years. I say this because there is a huge possibility that Bowser's Fury was the actual last 3D Mario release. I know it was a short game, and I know it just borrowed stuff from 3D World, but considering that we have heard nothing about the next game, Bowser's Fury feels less like a teaser for the next game, and more like a game to tide us over until they're done with the next game. Again though, this theory isn't very likely if you ask me. I do personally believe that Bowser's Fury is a teaser for the next game, and I also believe that the next game is right around the corner, but this theory is a possibility to think about. But yeah, I think we should just wait a little bit longer for 3D Mario news. I think Nintendo has something planned at the very least that will drop in the next couple of years, but we'll just have to wait and see. Once the next console gets officially announced, I think we will safely be able to speculate about a new 3D Mario game. But for now, let's just enjoy all of the Mario content we're getting this year. But that's going to end this one, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.